Yan, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang... <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so ayun, good luck guys Alright, so our lesson for today is solving quadratic equations by factoring. Ano? So from our uh, previous lesson, from our previous video tutorial, uh, we solve quadratic equations by extracting the square root. So ngayon naman, today, uh, we will be solving quadratic equations by factoring. Ano? So, to be able to solve some polynomials or some uh, quadratic equations, by factoring, we can follow these steps. Na? So, first step, transform the quadratic equation into standard form if necessary. So, kung yung ating uh, equation ay wala pa sa standard form, i-transform muna natin siya no, sa standard form natin. The next step is to factor the quadratic expression. So, factor ka na, no? Factor mo na yung ating quadratic equations. Then, uh, step number 3, apply the zero product property by setting each factor of the quadratic expression equal to zero. Yun. So, malinaw naman. Ano? So, kapag nakapag-factor out na tayo, apply lang natin yung zero product property. Ano? So, kung meron tayong tatlong factors, ipag-iwahiwalay natin yung tatlo na yun and then equate natin sa zero. Then, solve for x. Okay? So, yun yung steps na kailangan nating uh, matandaan to be able to solve quadratic equations by factoring. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate natin yung ating step-by-step -step solution, uh, let us have an, uh, our first example. So, example number one, let's say we have x squared plus 9x equals negative 8. Nakikita nyo ba? Ay, magsulit na to. Ito na lang, ito na lang. Okay, so we have x squared plus 9x equals negative 8. Now, uh, let us solve this quadratic equation. Okay? Now, first step is to transform the given equation into its standard form. If necessary, siya ba ay nasa standard form na? So, wala pa. Ngayon, Lipat natin siya sa standard form. And to do that, uh, we will just transpose negative 8 on the other side and then equate to 0. Okay? So, to do that, we have x squared, no? Plus 9x. So, transposing uh, negative 8 on the other side, magiging positive na siya, no? So, plus 8 equals 0. Okay? Now, factor out. Let us factor out uh, this uh, equation, okay? So, x squared plus 9x plus 8. Now, to be able to factor this out, um, this is a trinomial, ano? So, we can do our uh, trial and error, yung maglalagay tayo ng dalawang parentheses dyan, o kung ano man yung tawag ninyo na sa inyong school. Kasi ako, ang tawag ko dyan is trial and error para sa akin yung kaibigan, ano? So, kung anong tawag sa inyo, yun ang gamitin ninyo. Pero the same step lang ito, ano? Pamilyar naman kayo doon sa ating factoring na ito, mga kaibigan. Kasi natalakay nyo ito sa grade 8 natin. And uh, patuloy na tinatalakay ito, no? Along our journey in mathematics. Okay? So, again, this is a trinomial with uh, coefficient 1 sa ating uh, leading term, ano? So, hanap ngayon tayo ng factors ng 8 na kapag in natin, ang sagot ay 9. Okay? So, dito, yung dalawang x, 
Ano ngayon yung factors ng 4 na kapag in natin ang sagot ay 9? So obviously, we can use 1 and 8 ano, as, the, as the factors of 8. Then kapag in natin yung 1 at 8, ang sagot ay 9. So meaning, we have plus 1 here and plus 8. So na-factor out na natin siya completely. Tama? Then equals sa 0. Now apply the 0 product property by equating the two factors to 0. So, paghihiwalay natin siya ngayon. Okay? So, to do that, we have x plus 1 equals 0. Then, sa kapila is x plus 8 equals 0. Then, solve for x. Now, to solve for x on our first um, equation here, transpose mo yung positive 1 dun sa kapila. So, that will be x equals negative 1. And that is the final answer for this equation. Next is x plus 8 by transposing positive 8 on the other side. We have x equals negative 8 which is our final answer. Therefore, in example number 1, we have uh, the two values of x as negative 1 and negative 8 as the final answer. Now, to be able to check if your answer is correct, ano? Babalik natin ngayon dun sa ating original equation. Sa substitute natin yung negative 1 dito, negative 8 dito. Okay, so let us check, ano? Checking. Checking. Check na din. So, ito yung original equation natin, ano? x squared plus 9x equals negative 8. So, palit natin yung negative 1 dun sa ating mga x, ano? Ang dami mo namang x. So, negative 1 squared plus 9 raised to negative 1, ay, multiply by negative 1, equals negative 8. So, negative 1 squared, that is positive 1. 9 multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 9, equals negative 8. 1 minus 9 is negative 8, ano? Therefore, they are equal. Then, our answer negative 1 is correct, as our first solution. Next, yung, ano naman, negative 8. So, ito yung original, Palit lang natin, negative 8 squared plus 9 multiplied by negative 8 equals negative 8. Now, negative 8 squared, that is 64, positive ano? 9 multiplied by negative 8, that is negative 72. Ha? Equals negative 8. Now, 64 minus 72, that is negative 8. Equals negative 8. Therefore, also, Negative 8 is correct as our solution for this example number 1. Okay? So, ganun tayo mag-check kung tama yung ating sagot mga kaibigan. Ito sa another example, ano? Burain ko lang ito. Bura, 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 bura. Example number 2. Ayan. Solve 9x squared minus 4 equals 0 by factoring ano so example number 2 we have 9x squared minus 4 equals 0 and we are required to solve for it now step number 1 is the equation in standard form already yes nasa standard form na siya kasi nakaikwita siya sa 0 then apply step number 2 which is factoring so, let us factor out uh, example number 2 ano so as we can see 9x squared minus 4 9x squared is perfect square, ano? And 4 is also a perfect square. So, kung natatanda ninyo yung by factoring, ano? Factoring of the difference of two squares. Tama, ano? Kasi perfect square, perfect square. Difference. So, ano ba yung ating uh, method na yun? Yung factoring natin na yan. Kung natatanda ninyo, ano? So, a squared minus b squared. This is equal to a plus b multiply by a minus b. Alright? So, let us apply this uh, concept dito sa ating example. Ano? Ang ginawa lamang dito, kinuha yung square root ng a squared, kinuha yung square root ng b squared. No? Then, pinagsama sila by adding and subtracting. Then, magiging factor sila. Alright? So, ano ang square root ng 9x squared? That is 3x. Okay? 3x. Tapos, square root ng 4 is 2. So, isang plus 2 at isang 3x minus 2. 
equals 0. Okay? So, yun ngayon yung factors ng 9x squared minus 4. Then, next step is to apply the zero product property. So, paghihiwalayin ulit natin, no? 3x plus 2 equals 0. Then, 3x minus 2 equals 0. So, kung napansin nyo mga kaibigan, no, nung una, magkasama sila, pero bandang huli, maghihiwalay din sila. So, yun nga, no? After nila maghiwalay, tignan natin kung ano mangyayari sa kanila, mga kaibigan. No? So, 3x plus 2, solve for x, labas natin yung 2 sa kabila. So, that will be 3x equals negative 2. And sa kabila naman is 3x equals positive 2. No, hindi transpose yun eh. Now, to solve for x, divide both sides by 3. So, that will be x equals negative 2 thirds. And sa kabila, ganun din, divide by 3. x is equal to 2 thirds. Pas isang negative, isang positive. Now, last step is to check ano? Checking. Checking. Yan. <laughs> Pinagli lang natin. Checking. Okay? Check natin ano sa original equation natin. So, 9 negative 2 thirds squared minus 4. Is this equal to 0? So, let's see. Copy natin yan. Negative 2 raised to 2. O negative 2 squared is 4. Then, uh, 9 squared is 9. Ay, 3 squared, sorry. Is 9 minus 4 equals 0. So, cancel to. So, 4 minus 4, 0. Meaning, negative 2 thirds is correct. So, alam ba, yung uh, two positive naman, ano? So, 9, 2 thirds squared minus 4 equals 0. So, ganun din, 4 over 9, ano? So, cancel yan. 4 minus 4 is 0. Meaning, both the answers are correct. 2 thirds and negative 2 thirds are the two roots or the two solutions in example number 2. Okay? Let us have another example, number 3. Example number 3. Let's say we have x squared plus 7x equals 0. Solve for this equation. Okay? Now, first step, nasa standard form na ba? Yes. Second step, factor out. So, as we can see, they have a common factor of x. So, let us factor out x, ano? So, ang matitira is x squared divided by x, that is x. 7x divided by x, that is 7. Equals 0. Next step, apply the zero product property by equating the two products to 0. So, maghihiwalay ulit sila. Okay? So, x equals 0. Then, x plus 7 equals 0. So, we can see here that our first solution is 0. Ano? Our first solution is 0. Next Ito naman, transpose mo lang yung positive 7 sa kabila. Negative 7, ano? This is our second solution. Now, let us check if our answers, if our answer are correct, ano? If the solutions are correct. Checking. Checking. So, x squared, so mag, let's say uh, 0, ano? 0 squared plus 7 multiplied by 0 equal 0. So, 0, 0 meaning 0 as our first solution is correct. Next, now about negative 7. So, bag tayo sa original, negative 7 squared plus 7 multiplied by negative 7 equals 0. Negative 7 squared, that is 49. 7 multiplied by negative 7, that is negative 49 equals 0. 0 equals 0. So, meaning, again, negative 7 is also correct as our second solution. Okay? Example number 4, mga kaibigan. Example number 4. Yan. Let's say we have 4s squared 
plus 9 equals 12s. Yan. So, solve for the equation. First step, nasa standard form na ba siya? Wala pa. Ngayon, transform natin siya sa standard form by transposing 12s on the other side. So, we have 4s squared minus 12s ano? plus 9 equals 0. So, as we can see, no? after, fa uh, after transposing uh, I mean, after transforming into its standard form, nakita natin na yung naging resulta ay perfect square trinomial. No? Perfect square trinomial. Paano ba nalamang perfect square trinomial yan? Yung first term, it is a perfect square. Yung last term is a perfect square. Then, kapag nakuha mo ngayon yung square root ng uh, first term and square root ng last term, tapos pinagmultiply mo, and then twice, ang nakuha mo ay yung middle term, that is a perfect square root trinomial. Okay? So, ano bang square root ng 4s squared? That is 2s. Square root ng 9 is 3. Pag pinagmultiply mo yon we have 6s. Then, double mo yon we have 12s as our middle term. Meaning, this is a perfect square trinomial. Now, to factor this out, simple lang, kunin mo na yung square root ng ating first term, so we have 2s, then square root ng last term, which is, na, which is 3, you know? and then kunin mo yung sign ng middle term, 3, and then squared. Okay? And then, equals to 0. Now, paghiwalay natin, kasi dalawa sila, di ba? Pag pinaghiwalay natin yan, we have 2s minus 3 on the uh, first side, and also 2s minus 3 on the other side. Since they are uh, equal, ano, magkamukha lang naman sila, kasi nga, naka-square lang naman yan, naka-square lang naman yung ating binomial, ano? So, magkamukha lang yung makukuha natin ditong solution. So, ito na lang, susolve ko, ano? So, to solve for s, transpose mo yung 3 on the uh, negative 3 dun sa kabila. So, we have 2s equals positive 3. Then, divide both sides by 2. s now is equal to 3 halves. And that is our solution for example number. Let's see if our solution 3 halves is correct. Ano? By checking. Checking. By substituting on our original equation. So, 4 multiply by 3 halves squared plus 9 equals 12 multiply by 3 halves. Okay? So, square natin yan. We have 9 over 4 plus 9 equals ito is uh, 12 multiply by 3 or 12 divided by 2 that is 6, ano? Multiply by 3 that is 18. Now, ito ay cancel na, no? So, 9 plus 9, that is 18. Equals 18. They are equal. Meaning, our solution 3 halves is correct. And that is our final, uh, uh, that is our last example for our lesson today. Okay? So, hopefully, guys, ay uh, nakatulong muli tayo sa inyo, no? At kung nakatulong man tayo, ay ulit-ulitin uh, ko lang na i-share mo na to sa ating mga kaklase, no? Sa mga kaibigan mo para makatulong ka rin sa kanila ano, mga kaibigan. At yun lang, at uh, pagpatuloy nyo lang ang ating uh, pag-aaral ano, mga kaibigan.